Well, it's kind of a doomy and gloomy week here in Alberta. If you've read today's, that's Friday's Edmonton Journal, you'll see all the red ink, all the carnage that's laid out in, in gory detail uh, with respect to this coming budget. We've got a $10.4 billion projected deficit this year, 10.1 next year, and it goes on and on and on. Finance Minister Joe Sisi doesn't project balancing the books until 2024. Well, by then I'll be, let's see, 70 years of age. That's a long time from now. I've always been a little bit suspect of long-term projections, and I'm particularly suspect of this one. And that's for reasons that I'll bring to your attention in a moment. Uh, in the first quarter of this year, we saw the Toronto Stock Exchange rebound from deep losses in January and early February, led by materials and, aha, oil and gas stocks of all things. Why is that? Well, it's because oil prices bottomed out at $26 a barrel U.S. roughly, that's U.S. light crude, in early February, and as of today, just before the weekend's meeting in Doha, they're clinging to the $40 U.S. level. That's quite a move, about 50% or so. I think there's more good news to come. I think, in fact, this year, the surprises are likely to be on the upside for oil prices as we go through the year. The IEA, International Energy Agency, just indicated that we could see a disappearance of the global energy glut by the beginning of 2017. That's only nine months off. China is actually increasing its imports of crude significantly. China's economy is rebounding. We've seen data points out of China in the last few days that suggest that GDP is likely to rebound in the months ahead. We also see a report from Barclays, a major British bank, that indicates that China could actually continue to increase its oil imports to the tune of up to 10 million barrels a day by 2018, which in Barclays' view could lead to an actual price spike in crude. That's just two years away. So yes, lots of doom and gloom this week, folks. I live here in Alberta too. I pay taxes too. I don't like deficits any more than you do. But just remember, oil moves in cycles. We've been through a really tough cycle the last two years. I think we're at the beginning of a new cycle and it's gonna go up, not down.